This circuit right here is how to make the computer of the future. And what do I mean by that? Well, first, what is this circuit? Well, this circuit is from an e ink display, and it allows you to update the e ink display with the um, wireless charging and wireless uh, near field communication that you have in your phone. And when you buy it, it comes in a package like this. It has a nice um, plastic case with a metal ring enclosing it. Um, and the idea being you can update it with the picture. Um, this particular one I have has three colors. You can update on the screen with four different shades for each color. Red, white, and black. But why would this be the how you make the computer of the future? Because this circuit is something special. There's a lot of problems with computers the way they are today. The biggest problem is that you just don't know what's going on on the computer. You cannot tell what it's doing. You can't tell how it's configured. Um, and this would solve it. So if you imagine that this is your, instead of it being a, a place to show a picture, this is a place to um, show how we have our processor wired. And I have all the transistors, so it's like an FPGA, a field programmable gate array. Um, but we expose the actual array visually on one side. And so this would show the circuit. And then um, on the other side, it's glass. Um, because for this particular effect, um, for the e-ink display to work, it uses electrostatic um, to uh, manipulate these little buckets of ink to um, decide which color is going to be at the top of the bucket of ink and, and end up displaying the picture. We could also do a similar kind of thing and decide um, what conductive um, part you're going to bring to the surface and what non-conductive part you're going to bring to the surface and now you can uh, create different uh, circuits on a small level. Um, and then by having the other side exposed, so for one, you, um, you have exposed to the glass and uh, uh, now you have a solar panel solar panel, you just need glass, you layer it with a certain chemical in between, and like this here is already quite thin just for a piece of glass with the um, picture on it. And so, you build the processor, you have a solar panel, and now that's wired right in, electricity, and you're getting all the electricity from your room. Or you just install like a light ring around it if you have like a desktop set up. And your display now you can do in the glass. And you can have your LEDs, your light emitting diodes. Those are actually in a weird way kind of like solar panels. <laughs> just made on a smaller scale and so you could make those etch them into the glass and now you have your screen and then you have on the back you have your configuration of your processor but light emitting diodes they go both ways meaning that um, just like a microphone and a speaker they're the exact same device the only difference is they go both ways the, with a microphone you have the sound going in, converting it to electricity, going into your recording device, and then the speaker, you have the electricity going out through the speaker. And 
in electronics and everything, everything is like this, where it's, you have this two parts, you have the A and the B, the yin and the yang, the in and the out, and um, with LEDs it's the same way, you, you um, if you want to detect light, it's an LED, if you want to project light, it's an LED. And so now you've got a, you've got your glass full of LEDs. On the back, you've got your full configuration. So you want to see what's going on, you place this one on top of another one. And now you're photographing the the current configuration. Um now the current configuration like when you're like flashing a, an FPGA, um you can't flash it instantly. A lot of different things like that you just can't flash flash it super quick, but you can flash one and then you can flash another one. And you can flash another one and flash another one. And if you do that quick enough, well then you can be changing them in real time. You can have tons of different processing ability and, and, and be able to switch between different processing circuits, which is something you need for fast um different type of real-time processing, which is going to be needed for AI and robotics and whatnot, um, you need to be able to switch between um, these extremely complicated processing loads. So one second you're processing, you're trying to figure out the orientation of your head and your VR, and the next second you're processing uh, some image or some video, and, and so you're constantly switching, you've got to be able to switch back and forth between all these different circuits. And so then, by placing your your thing on top of another one, and now you can get you can diagnose what's going on with the actual circuit that that your your code and everything is running on. You can sure you can write code that looks sort of phones home and, and sort of keeps track of what's going on with itself, and then you still just can't see what's going on inside the computer. That's one of the big problems and reason why we have. Well, the computers just don't really work for us, and your phones don't really quite work, and the app doesn't quite work, and it sort of does, and everything's just kind of annoying. You can't see what's going on 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 a processor. It's impossible to see what's going on. You have things. stack them up. And then you're increasing your um, your processing ability. You have one core, two cores, three cores, four cores more. One core, two core, three cores more. Five cores, six cores, seven cores, and then there's other rhymes. Um, But one thing that's interesting about this setup is this one in particular is that it, it's sort of two different circuit board technologies. There's the one on the green, which is the old circuit board technology, and that one seems to um, handle getting the power from from your phone and then getting the signal to then update the image on the ENC display. And so you upload the image through the NFC and then you you get the power through the the near field power system that I have. Um, but then it goes through the cable and then into this this part here. So what's interesting is, is is do you need to make these green circuit boards? Now, they do have system on a chip kind of stuff, but then it's on silicon, and it's a whole different thing. Like, you still have to get the, the, the actual um, 
raw components, the various chemicals and stuff that are inside of the components, you can spread them out a lot thinner when you're in the doing the system on a chip thing. And with um, like with this circuit board here, I can see that it, it sort of have done that. There's other stuff laid down. There's other, also just stuff etched into the glass. And it's interesting. Do you need this green? And can you do it all on, just on the glass? How beautiful would that be? Like make your smartphone just out of a circuit, it's just a pure big circuit board. Because like another problem with these smartphones is when you look at how big the phone is. The amount of processing they have is just the size of your thumb. It's like that's all of the processing and that's all of the data storage. Is is this big in the whole size of the phone? And then the battery is just another one of those. And that's everything. And then the rest is just a whole bunch of other crap. And like you have to, com you're constantly deleting stuff off your phone. You just can't save anything. It's so scary. It's just absolutely terrifying to use a cell phone. I just hate how scary it is to use a phone. Because you're like, oh, I just can't save anything. I can't save a picture. You're always worried about taking pictures. I can't save an app. I can't play this game. I can't do this. I can't do that. There's just not enough space. And then the space is it's just... You can get a terabyte on your thumbnail. Or more than that. What are they, Like four terabytes or something. And... And the phone is so big. And, and it's, multi, it's a multi-layered... Boy, it's it's like four terabytes in a single layer on your on your thumbnail, and and these, these are multi-layered boards and and these big and they still can't put enough storage in them at all. They can't put enough anything. They can't put enough battery. Run off solar. Why can't you have a lot of it run off solar? Solar is so simple. You just take up some pieces of glass with the right chemicals, you squish them together, and you got solar power. And why wouldn't why wouldn't you just add that in? Of course you would, right? I don't understand these phones. It seems like it was like just like just press pause for like five seconds on this whole like cell phone chugging out cell phones you could actually make one that works that's really good it's got tons and tons of processing power it runs off the sun you just gotta turn the light on and, you can, and you'll still be able to use it like and have a beautiful display that's also a camera because LEDs are just cameras so it can, it can display, it can do the touch why isn't it just all the LEDs? Cool to just make something that works instead of just make instead of trying to make something that just like okay how can we what's the the minimum viable thing we can make to just to just mess with people just enough so that we can just get a little bit of money out of them or just screw them around just a little bit it's just <laughs> just get something that works please like even my own computer my computer is huge <laughs> this laptop is huge and it take like the, and it has less processing power than my phone it's slower than my phone this this computer it's a, it the, the, the display is 17 inches corner to corner but it's in like the 15 inch chassis thing which is cool uh, yeah nice and compact and it's got a very small, thin edge. Cool. <laughs> okay, so you, sure, you get you get all the space in the display you you need for the display. You don't get any pro. Okay, sure, that's fine. But then this whole thing is the exact same size as the display, and it's huge. And it's way bigger than my cell phone, and it's slower than my cell phone. It's way slower and more incapable than my cell phone is. It's quicker to go on my cell phone and do shit than it is on my computer. And, like, the size of how big a processor is, it's ridiculous. And they can't put it, like, two in. <laughs> they just put one from, like, 60 years ago. And I just can't get anything done. I can't do a thing. Everything is so slow. And then no one knows how to program anything. Oh, wait, they do. But then they just don't program it. And... <laughs>
<laughs> don't program it right, and and then you can't get anything done. Okay, you finally get enough money, you get a, the the fastest computer, you got it liquid cooled and all this, and you're afraid it's gonna leak and explode in the night. Well, that's why you got all the CPUs, you can do it. But then the code just doesn't work. <laughs> It doesn't work! It doesn't work with my code! Since 1980 or 60 or 70. 60. It, but that okay, it takes a little bit to get good. Didn't really get good till the 90s, maybe the 80s. And then it, we, just, we just still can't figure out code. Literally today, to today, we can't figure out code. We can't figure out how to, how to like, get like the best per, whoever's the best at, at, at fixing it or making it good. They can't work on it. Still. <laughs> And and we can't figure out can't figure out how to uh, reliably uh, stream and playback video and and record video. Still can't do that. <laughs> my computer still can't record and play things back. I, I record stuff on my computer and I play it back. And it's completely different. It's completely different every time. Every time I record it and then I play it back, it's completely different. Not just like sounds different and okay, my ears and and this like it's edited differently than what I recorded. And there's stuff missing out of it. Like, <laughs> how is this not solved? How can you not just record the data and then play it back exactly as I recorded it? <laughs> and a click, you try to click on something. We, we haven't figured out how clicks work. We, we still can't do clicks. You, you click on something. And the computer's just like, I don't know. I don't know about that one. I don't know if we even understood what you meant. We'll, we'll, we'll half animate something. Looks like we kind of are doing something, but we're not, we're not, we're not following through on that click. I don't know about that one. It, the computer's just sitting there judging you every fucking click. Yeah, I don't know. This, this is click here. I don't know. I don't know if we can actually do this click. <laughs> Just, just, just make the. I can hear the click. I can see it animate that you, that you did the click, but it, it doesn't do the click. It's like yes, and then it'll do. It'll update the 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 mouse pointer, and yes, we're doing the click, and nothing happens. And it's said every time, every time, and no one can figure out how to do it. Like, what? How can this not work? I've used computers before, and they work fine. Sometimes they work completely fucking fine. And I used the phone before, and it works completely fine. And then other times, it just doesn't. And oh, no, we don't know what we're doing. We can't remember this. We can't remember. We can't. You can't go back. Okay, you can't. Oh, no, the, the, the cultural implications. You can't go back. Oh, no. You know, you should always be going forward in life. You shouldn't be going backwards. But you, you, can't, you can't. You can't go back to what you recorded. You can't go back to the web page you were just looking at. You, sh you can't go back to the web page you're just looking at. It. It's gone. It's gone. You can only ever see a web page once. You're only allowed to see a web page once. And then you you click on something on that web page. That web page is gone forever. Completely gone. You never get to see it again. And then you're okay. Oh, wicked. I get to. I found something cool. Uh, let me go back and get the next thing on the list. It's gone. It's completely gone. You got to reload it. You got to scroll through. We can't figure that out. Google can. Oh, Google actually has figured out how to do that. And they're so good at it, they'll slip another result in. Like, oh yeah, we know you just clicked that one. You came back. You're expecting to go to the, another one in there. It's gone. They, just, <laughs> they can make it so that it works. But they went over the way to make it so that it's gone. Whatever you're looking for. Whatever you're looking for, it's just gone. They didn't have to do that. They don't have to do that, but it's just gone. In Google News, same thing. You're scrolling through on your, okay, whatever. HTML is so hard. HTML, whatever. It's the hardest technology. It's the hardest technology in the world. Ooh, HTML. Okay, fine. The fucking stuff on the phone, the Swifty, whatever bullshit. That shit, okay, yes. It works. And you can go back and you can remember. And it's fine. Except for Google News. They, they, they can't figure it out. They can't figure it out. You go back. And then it's gone. The, the, whatever it, they, they put another thing in. They slot more shit in. 
<laughs> Why can't these things work? It's so simple. You just show the information. And then you remember, like, I don't know why these things are so hard to program. The, and part of it is you can't see what you program once you program it, okay. But then you, you just can't do anything. You, you can't do anything. You can't, I, I can't even, I, I still have not been able to program my phone. I'm a fucking programmer, and I can't, pro, I'm not allowed to program my phone. I can't program any apps for it. I can't change any settings on it. I can't do any modifications to it whatsoever i can do a little bit of javascript maybe save that to the home page in a little fucking thing but those things don't work those don't load those don't remember anything you can't you load it up it doesn't remember it's like what what the hell is this code no i'm gonna fetch from the server again no i wanted to save okay whatever i gotta keep a fucking server up in fucking Viet Cong or whatever they put this stupid fucking javascript on my phone <laughs> but no and then it's gonna load again from the beginning and, oh, we just don't know what we, they, Oh my god, I can't even write code for my phone. Oh, I could, you just gotta get an Android. Androids suck! They, they fucking suck! They don't work! They just don't... The Androids are trying to copy the iOS. The iOS doesn't fucking work to begin with. And they're trying to copy that. And, and the way they're copying it is in a thing that doesn't fucking work. Yeah, do it in fucking VM. It's just so stupid. Why can't you just make something that fucking works? Aren't there experts and shit? Like, aren't there people like, just like me that spend their whole fucking life learning how to fucking do shit? And then, and then, and then, and then, and then what? And then what? And then what? And why, why doesn't this shit work? Well, I don't even, hopefully this fucking works. <laughs> hopefully this fucking works. Why the hell is going on this? <laughs> ah! <laughs>